anyone had any questions in their mind about Russian military involvement in the Salisbury attacks, this will put to rest those doubts because here you have evidence of the Russian military launching a cyber attack on the very organisation, the international organisation in the Netherlands set up to investigate those Novichok attacks. And why would you do that if you weren't the guilty party? Uh, the reality is that this is part of a pattern of cyber attacks in the UK, the US, Malaysia, Switzerland, now the Netherlands. And the Russian government needs to know that if they flout international law in this way, there will be consequences, uh, they will be exposed, and people will see uh, the Russian government for what they are, which is uh, an organisation that is trying to fester instability throughout the world, and that is totally unacceptable. Um, so today, um, the UK has called out Russia, specifically the GRU, in terms of this cyber activity, um, most, you know, most, most freshly the, the attacks on the APCW. What action, though, what physical action, beyond words, is the UK and its allies going to do beyond what's been done already? Well, the first thing we're doing is to expose it, and the words matter, because there are countries all over the world that are hearing both sides of the story, they're hearing what the Russians say as well, and this is the evidence that what we're getting from Russia is fake news, and here is the hard evidence of Russian military activity. But of course it will go beyond that, um, and that's why we'll be discussing with our allies what further sanctions should be imposed. Um, and we will also be discussing how we need working with our friends and allies to counter this pattern of cyber attacks, which is, you know, the new type of attack that the whole world is having to deal with. I mean, you've said today how the, the, U, the, the GRU was behind the hack on the Democratic National Committee. How, is there any evidence, have you seen any evidence, of Russian interference in the Brexit referendum? Well, we haven't seen that interference, um, but we are always monitoring these uh, things the whole time. And uh, what Russia needs to know is that if they do any of these things, uh, but most of all, if they try to interfere with the democratic processes in other countries, it will be exposed and there will be consequences. Today's language is, is, is the, the toughest that, you, that the UK's been. Do you believe that they are going to curb Russia's activity, Russia's behaviour, or do you think it will actually lead to an escalation, possibly even World War III? Well, we don't want any kind of escalation. Um, and the way that we are going to prevent an escalation is by making sure when this kind of thing happens, that Russia knows that it's a red line, that there are consequences, that the price is going to be too high, and that if they think they can get away with flouting inter international law, trying to destabilize uh, the way democracies go about their business, uh, sending agents in to use chemical weapons on British soil for the first time in our history, if they think that we're just going to lie down and accept that, they're wrong, and there will be consequences, and they will regret doing this.